Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya, I'm an integrative health coach and I specialize in leveraging the paleo diet and lifestyle to optimize your health. Today I'm showing you how to make a super simple meal prep for the entire work week. So this is gonna include meals for five days and it's gonna be three meals a day. All the meals are gluten-free, dairy-free, they are paleo friendly and they are high in protein, which is really good if you are currently focusing on weight loss or weight management. But before we get started, for the best content on the paleo diet, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video every Wednesday. I also wanna mention if you are looking for a full seven day meal plan and you want recipes that are a bit more elaborate than something simple like we're doing today, I also have a video that I filmed that you guys have been absolutely loving. So I'm gonna link that right here and in the description box. So let's get right into it. For breakfast, we have chia pudding. Chia pudding is great because it requires no cooking. It can be prepped in advance or about 15 minutes before you want to consume it. Chia pudding is full of healthy fats, fiber, and antioxidant, which makes it a great way to start your day. You could also add some collagen peptides or some type of protein powder to boost the protein content of this meal. It's so simple. All you have to do is place two tablespoons of chia seeds per jar. Then you add about half a cup of milk of your choice. Here I use some canned coconut milk that I actually diluted with water. I then stir those two ingredients together and let it sit for five minutes. Then add the rest of the toppings. You can get creative here, but I love adding a mixture of mixed berries and almond butter. Lastly, give it another good stir and store them in the fridge. For lunch, we are prepping a chicken salad, which you can consume in a few ways. Chicken salad is amazing. It's full of protein and healthy fats, and it's a bit lower in carbs, which is the perfect macronutrient ratio to keep you fuller for longer. Start with a large bowl and add in some chopped cooked chicken breasts, then some cucumbers, celery, and some red onions. Now this is the part that I realized I needed a larger bowl, so I'm just gonna quickly swap those. Give it a good stir and then add in some mayo. I highly recommend using either the Chosen Foods mayos or the ones by Primal Kitchen. Both brands have an avocado oil based mayo, which is my absolute favorite. But I also recently found this keto mayo, which is made from coconut oil at Costco. So I decided to give it a try and it was pretty good. Next, I'll just add in some salt and pepper and give it another good stir. There are two ways I like to serve this salad. The first, and my personal favorite, is with some almond flour crackers or platan chips. Today I decided to go with the platan chip. I use these glass containers which have two sections so I can place the chicken salad on one side and then the chips on the other. I'm also going to link these containers in the description box in case you're interested in grabbing them for yourself. The second variation is on a bed of greens. Here I have mixed greens and I'm also adding some sprouts. I really like adding sprouts um, in any of like my salads. It just adds a really good texture because of that crunch. For dinner, we will be cooking two types of proteins. We got some chicken thighs and my personal favorite, some wild salmon filet. Let's start by preparing the chicken because that will go in the oven first. 
I place the chicken thighs in a baking dish and add in some seasonings. Here I've added some Mrs. Dash, the urban garlic one. Um, that's one of my favorites. And then of course I add some salt and a little bit of pepper as well since that seasoning does not contain any salt. I then bake the chicken thighs in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit degrees for about 30 minutes or until the internal temperature has reached 165. While the chicken is baking, I started preparing the veggies. We will be making some roasted sweet potatoes for a healthy source of carbohydrates and steaming some broccoli as our green vegetable. I chop everything up in bite-sized pieces so that once the chicken is done, I can add in the sweet potatoes immediately. I always roast my sweet potatoes on a large baking sheet with some seasonings. Here I'm using some paprika and some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and I'm also adding some avocado oil. Once that's ready, chop up the broccoli and steam it in a basket. This doesn't take very long, so definitely check on your broccoli frequently so you don't overcook it. Once it's done, I transfer it into a bowl so it doesn't continue to steam, and then I add some ghee. After taking care of the broccoli, your chicken should be done, so you can remove it from the oven and add in the sweet potatoes. I typically roast my sweet potatoes at 400 Fahrenheit degrees for 30 minutes. Once that's done, we're on to our final item, and that's the salmon fillets. I like to pan fry mine in, once again, a ghee and add a bunch of herbs. You also don't want to overcook salmon, so check it frequently. I fried these ones for about 3-4 to four minutes per side, and that was perfect. And that's it. All we have to do now is divide everything up in containers so you'll have two meals with salmon fillets and three with chicken thighs for a little variety. I think it's really important to try and consume fatty fish like salmon at least two to three times per week since they contain omega-3 fatty acids which are so beneficial for your health. that is it a super simple five day meal prep everything took me under two hours to make so anyone can do this on a sunday and then be ready for the week ahead let me know in the comments down below what meal you are most excited for i'm really excited personally for the chia pudding i think it's just gonna be so easy waking up in the morning and grabbing one of these and having breakfast ready to go as always if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a beautiful day bye Oh